Okay. Welcome everyone. Who is it watching this after the fact? Just making sure everything looks good from YouTube's end. We'll get started here just shortly. Okay, cool. So, uh, hopefully someone hops on here and can tell me if the audio is working. But, um, gotta grab one set of tools quick. So this literally just showed up in from UPS. The box looks to be in really good condition. It took about a week to get here. This is the X class and I've been waiting for quite some time to review this bike. So I am pretty excited about this. I haven't even uh, ridden an electric bike that's kind of this moped style. I know they're not necessarily made for pedaling, but we'll give it a shot and see. Looks like it comes double boxed. Inside of a box. I am probably going to need some assistance getting this out. We will see. All right, let's see if we can get some assistance in uh, get taking this bike out of here. My assistant will be out shortly. All right, here we go. So this e bike. It's it's going to be a little bit heavy, so we'll see how it goes. Where am I gripping? Um, well. Grab underneath here, you can grab the frame and then I can grab the front maybe. So the light is on the back there, so don't grab by that, just grab the back of the frame. Let's see what we're working with. 
here, got the tire, the fork's protected. So let's put this up. Here, I got it. I think I might take Get this in the frame here. All right, we got two people currently watching live. So uh, maybe if you wouldn't mind commenting if you uh, can hear me okay, that would be appreciated. You good? Yep. Maybe you can go on your phone for me. Okay. Awesome. Damage Inc. Awesome. Glad you got the Sun Tour seat post. Those things are great. Uh, can you hear me okay? Would appreciate it if you can let me know. Uh, so we're just going to start being able to start with this front wheel. The uh, color of this is a little bit uh, like it's metallic, which I really, it's like a blue metallic as opposed to like just a regular blue. That's kind of cool. Where's my phone? Oh, it's charging downstairs. All right, so there's one wheel. Front wheel is off. Loud and clear, awesome. Yes, the game changers. My wife loves it. It's actually funny, so on our rad wagon, that has kind of turned into my wife's bike. So she's using this uh, SR Sun Tour seat post, and I don't have one on the Ride One Up Limited. So when I ride the rad wagon, which is kind of rare sometimes, uh, it's, a, it's quite the luxury. So anyway, if, if you're not familiar, Aerial Rider, they might sell oh, some of the most, like, they have like the most diverse lineup, I feel like, or one of the most, I should say, of e-bikes. They just sell a bunch of different styles. They have the X-Class, and then they have a cruiser bike, and then they have a dual motor, um, the D-Class, so, and then they have a smaller mid-drive that's really affordably priced, I think around 1800 or something. So that's pretty neat. Um, and the X-Class was new, I think they announced it at the end of last year, and, um, and uh, customers started receiving them this year. So let's see, I'm not actually sure what, oh, Touch Up Paint, I don't know any other e-bike company, there probably are some, but they co it comes with Touch Up Paint, that is a great touch. Uh, here's all the tools and stuff. Uh, pet, two pedals. These are, let's see, are these Wogos? Not Wogos. Looks like just a no name pedal. I think I might actually put some really cool looking blue ones on there. And then some extra screws. Um, those look like end caps with some zip ties. Just gonna check the comments quick. It is a nice blue, yep. Yeah. yeah, I so I rode the Rad Rover step through earlier this year, and that was my first experience on a fat tire bike, and that thing is so much fun. And that's kind of why I'm excited about this bike, because while the they're 20 inch tires, um, I believe 20 inch, um, they are fat tires, so I'm really hoping this will probably be like more of my fun bike, whereas our all of our other e-bikes that we own, you know, we do a lot of, we run a lot of our errands on our e-bikes, so we like to have cargo space and stuff, and this one is maybe a little bit less practical, so. Oh, and, uh, so I'm just taking off some of this, 
protective stuff and comes with pegs. So my wife and I are definitely gonna test that out because when we first got our rad wagon, we rode that a lot. Yeah, okay, so someone commented, pretty much taking the words out of my mouth about Vax class. So what I focus on on e-bike escape is a lot of the brands that you know I per personally per uh, personally think are really interesting at a great price. And this is fourteen ninety nine. Has hydraulic disc brakes, full suspension, um, really powerful motor. And I don't think I'm not aware of any other brand that offers that kind of value in these like moped style ones. Uh, I've looked at Juice quite a bit. Theirs are a little bit more expensive. And of course, there's probably trade-offs with all of these, um, but I do love the value that Aerial Rider provides with you know all their e-bikes, not just the X-Class. Um, so yeah, I think it's a great price point. I mean, even when you're looking at the Rad Runner, Rad Runner is priced at $11.99. You don't get any gears. And then of course they have the um, Rad Runner Plus at $16.99. So, you know, this at being at $1,500 is, is quite a good deal. And uh, the other cool thing, I can't remember the exact battery specs, maybe 16 amp hour battery. It has a, a larger battery than at least some of the uh, other comparables and I actually want to get that on the charger so I can go out riding. Uh, the other cool thing is like everything on this bike is, I mean, there's, I don't think there's going to be a lot to assemble. It's pretty much taking off all the packaging and then installing the light and then the front wheel which should be easy and then um, I haven't shared it on the channel but I got a park tool stand and it can hold uh, over 100 pounds I think or maybe just at 100 pounds which is great because it can hold e-bikes so I'm hoping to improve my skills a little bit when it comes to uh, maintenance and stuff. I've already done a little bit but um, still learning. The Miata of e-bikes, yeah. There you go. Oh, and then also the fender I'll have to install, that's here. So far, uh, everything looks like it's in really good condition. The other cool thing, and I haven't talked about this yet, is, and I apologize, the sound could be a little bit better. I just got the GoPro Max, which is a 360, 360 degree camera. And I got that two days ago, so hoping to do a bunch of filming with that. I was hoping to live stream with it and I couldn't get it working. So that was a bit frustrating and uh, so I'm just using my phone and my gimbal and hopefully my gimbal has enough battery. And... Kickstand. So yeah, this bike peaks at, I think, like 1,500 watts or something. So I will be very curious for those of you who have followed along with the Ride One Up Limited. Well, I'll be very curious how this compares uh, to that as far as speed and, and those sort of things. So that will be a lot of fun. Uh, I got that huge hill. If you saw that hill test I did with the Ride One Up Limited, I'll take this up there and do a direct comparison and just see how it goes. Uh, I mean. Technically, I think maybe it'll be about the same. This bike is a little bit heavier than that bike, so we'll just have to see. Oh, and then I have to put the handlebars on, of course, but that's really easy. Uh, and I will say it was really funny, the UPS guy that uh, dropped this bike off, of course, he didn't know what it was, which, you know, they put TVs, uh, pictures of TVs on all of them, which is fun. And then uh, I we told him it was an electric bike, and he said, oh, that's cheating, which uh, I don't think is a, I don't prefer that as a comment, because I always like to tell people that cars are cheating, so. But who cares? You get outside, and you're on a bike, and you can go a lot further with an electric bike, so I don't really care. I mean. We use our bike when we're in town, bikes way more than our car, so. Oh, and then of course he brought up uh, Simon Cowell, and I don't know, 
the exact details of what bike he was riding, but from what, what I read briefly was that it was just a super powerful electric bike that is not really, I mean, the only thing that makes it a bike it a bike is that it has pedals, so I don't know. Probably some good media attention for that company though. A lot of people probably weren't even aware that you could buy bikes like that. This is probably the closest thing I'll get to having a motorcycle, so. Wow. FedEx, my FedEx guy said he's delivering rad power bikes every day. Wow, that is just, yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of companies are just crushing it right now, and it's really cool to see. Uh, unfortunate for consumers who have to wait so long, but that's just the reality. Uh, I just remember back in March, I was kind of like, ooh, I mean, things in China are not going super well, so if you want an e-bike, you should order now. And then, of course, all these companies, I mean, you can't blame them when they have they have delays and stuff because it's out of their control, whatever, you know, they're delayed in China, everyone wants bike parts, and then of course you have the unknowns where, you know, a ship or a container has to get inspected, so the ones that I kind of focus on are, uh, at least the people that I've talked to, you know, they're, they're doing their best, like they want to please their customers, um, so that's just the, the reality of e-bike industry, which is good though, because it's getting so many more people on bikes, which is a great goal. All right, so. I think I might, uh, I think I might try to throw the front tire on first, and then I can put it on its kickstand. And uh, all I should be doing, I don't know when my first video will be out on this, but I'll hopefully do a lot of filming over the weekend and try to get something out soon. I've also been spending a bunch of time on my garage trying to get, create a little bit of a studio and electric bike storage for all these bikes. So I have a bunch of racks from Steady Rack, which I'm really excited to install. And the drywall kind of behind where I'm filming, I'm working on painting and making it look a little bit nicer in here because the racks are gonna look so nice. Um, so, okay, let's see, maybe I'll, uh, front tire here. <laughs> yeah, uh, the branding is definitely not in your face and I have some pretty cool um, I have some pretty cool um, accessories coming for this bike, nothing too crazy. Um, and one of them is actually uh, some rim tape. So if you've heard of Custom Taylor 33, they sell uh, rim tape for, I think originally it was all, only for cars and, and motorcycles and what have you. But um, of course, people who bought electric bikes started purchasing it and what's really great I mean it looks really cool but also um, it's great for safety because it's really highly reflective and I know like all the rad power bikes they come with uh, uh, the rim tape on the wheel which is great not not our rad wagon um, but for bikes that don't and of course you know these are these are blue rims so I got blue rim tape coming that'll be reflective I think I actually might steal the blue pedals off my um, 
ride one up limited and put them on this because it'll just match. So, so let's see, this is a through axle, so not quick release. I'm um, trying to remember, I watched the video before I, uh, their kind of install video, which was uh, pretty brief, but provided kind of what you're going to have to do. And so this was actually off of it already, which is, I think, to keep the, and then supposedly, yep, there's a, Clip inside the disc brakes that just, um, so because these are hydraulic disc brakes, they put this in there so you don't have to worry about, you don't want to hit the brakes basically when a disc um, isn't in there. So let's see if I can, I think maybe I might have to install the light first actually. Which is zip tied. And this one has like a really cool motorcycle like um, headlight on it. And by the way, uh, for those of you who are watching this later, some of you on the, watching the live stream, just uh, I really appreciate everyone's support. Um, whether you're just watching the videos or you're buying accessories, uh, this has been really fun for me. And so, yeah, I really, really appreciate all the support and keeping me continuing to do this. So uh, in the next month, this is one of four electric bikes, maybe a month and a half, uh, one of four electric bikes that I'll be reviewing. Um, and, you know, a lot of that is, you know, made possible by everyone viewing and, of course, people on the Rad Owners Forum and, you know, on the website um, and all those things. And I also got, so I got some uh, new tools uh, to try out from, these are from Pro Bike Tool. This is like a mini ratchet, and I haven't even used it before, um, but I'm gonna try it and just see how it works. And it comes with, like a set of, you know, all the hex things you need. I also got a torque wrench from them. So I kind of, like, although a lot of people say, oh, you don't need to, um, you know, you don't need to torque the, actually, I think I might use the Y wrench instead. Uh, although you don't need to, you know, get the torque rating, I kind of want to do it just to, you know, learn a little bit about what, how tight some of these things should be. Struggling with these bolts a little bit though. Actually, handling still. Once we get this light out of the way, we can put the tire on and then pedals and handlebars. sizing is a little bit off or there we go for some reason the uh, um, size of the pro bike so I don't know if those are like a little bit more accurate or what's going on but I'm just gonna use the tool that came with this okay and I believe Check out that, hopefully you can see the headlight thing, it's really cool. And it actually has their, like, a, their logo on it very um, subtly, so that's at the top here, that's kind of neat. But yeah, this one would be, I mean, you basically you could cover up 
if you didn't want to promote the company, which I don't really mind branding on my e-bikes, but if, you do, if you're someone who doesn't like that, then of course um, it's pretty easy to deal with. And I know, like when I was reading, so I went to uh, Ariel's website and read a bunch of the reviews from just regular customers on this bike. And um, like a lot of people said, it's a lot bigger than they expected, a lot taller. And I think I'm going to feel the same. I mean, you see this bike online and it doesn't look like, like you maybe think, oh, it's a, you know, a, a bike that might fit someone a little bit smaller. Um, but it's still a large bike. I'm just going to get this just enough to, I'm going to mess around with it probably later. Get it how I want it. All right, I think we're getting close. Maybe I'll do the, might actually do the handlebars just so I don't. And then the keys are zip tied here. Actually, I haven't even opened up the charger. Okay. There's the keys. Uh, interesting. So I didn't realize this before. I'm just going to pause and make sure everything's looking okay. But um, let's see. Yeah, so I don't know anything about tailgate pads. A, a lot of what I've seen though with some people at least is um, it, they're so heavy that they that tends to not really be a great option I guess if you have a ramp or something uh, I'm using the Hollywood racks two inch um, hitch but anyway what I was getting at with the keys uh, these are reentrant keys so this is the same company that makes the case for you know this bike obviously as well as uh, the models from uh, Ride One Up, and the reason that is nice is that you don't necessarily need to rely, or yeah, you, you potentially don't need to rely on the company stocking that specific battery because they're using a case from a different company. So, like, if they're really expensive or something, or a company, I mean, any company happens to go out of uh, business, um, you just have that option. Uh, for all those battery packs. So that's cool. I didn't, that's something I didn't realize. And this is the, uh, I actually you can see it. So, so the reentrant, and then it says Dorado Plus. So it's the Dorado Plus battery. All right, and then you want to orient the handlebars. Let's see. Ooh, this might be a little bit tricky with the... Okay, so it's gonna go like that. All right, so I just have to undo the bolts here. Let's see if these are some good size. So it, it adjusts here up and down. So you can have, you know, you can have a really aggressive kind of riding style with this bike, or you can tilt them up a little bit. We'll see how adjustable it is. So what this is, I mean, this mini wrench is cool because you can get into the hard to reach places, and of course, of course, it ratchets. So that, I'm thinking, is going to be really handy. I've used the Y wrench. I mean, any, you can use any Y wrench, but I've been using the Pro Bike Tool, 6-in-1, and that has been handy. It just It's nice to have all these different wrenches because, like, for instance, sometimes I'll use my uh, Crank Brothers multi-tool. Sometimes that's easier to get in. Sometimes the Y wrench is faster if you have easy access to it. So just something. Uh, 
Uh, and let's see. All right. So now, tilt these up. Now I took off the uh, thing for the hydraulic disc brakes. I want to make sure that I don't actually hit the brakes. And I am just going to put this on. And I'll probably just adjust it later. So I should, assuming everything checks out on this bike, um, uh, hopefully we'll get a bunch of riding in uh, this weekend, and maybe, hopefully some 360 footage. This will be the first uh, electric bike kind of review that I do with a 360 camera. And I'm really looking forward to that. And then, of course, I'll, I don't know, I'll probably do three or four videos total on this bike. And one of the cool, one of the things that I like to do is that, or like to provide the information on, is go like deep on a few different brands and a few different models so people can really get a feel for a bike before they decide to purchase, because obviously a lot of them are direct to consumer unless you can find someone in uh, your local area. And uh, Aerial Rider has a Facebook group that I'm a part of, and a lot of the brands do, and that just continues to be a really great um, resource. Actually, it looks like the um, display, I'm not sure, I think it might just be black and white, but. We'll see, maybe not. Um, it looks very similar to that on the Ride One Up Limited. I can already tell I'm gonna have to adjust these handlebars, but we'll do it for now. All right, let's see if I can get this on. It's not quick release, so I think that's a through axle then. Haven't had much experience with that. Careful with the discs. Have the one on. Of course, the uh, washer was in the way. try to see if I can just, one of the things that I definitely think anyone should purchase, so a lot of these, probably not the rear ones maybe, um, but it's nice to have a nice socket set, um, because most of the time the rear tire is just a bolt, and so it's really nice having something that works really well. Jesus, this thing looks so cool. And I know uh, we talked a little bit about branding. I think they have their logo on the back of the seat. This 
just so much easier than using a wrench. <laughs> Stop it, set. It's good to go. All right. And I'm pretty much going to get this set up and then uh, go back through everything to make sure it's safe to ride. But I want to get the initial. So this kickstand actually and, uh, comes out quite a bit of ways because it's a shorter bike. All right, and then ooh, let's, uh, let's pop open. I assume this is the charger. Yep. Uh, one thing I saw, hopefully this helps people who, if you're buying this bike, uh, when I looked at the uh, video on how to install this, they say, and maybe I just didn't pay attention to the other e-bikes brands, but it says to plug it into the wall um, first and then plug it in um, to your battery. So, And actually... It's got a button on the top of the battery and it's showing, I think that's, I think it might be full. So maybe I don't have to charge it up right away. All right. And then of course the pedals is right and left and it's marked right here on the end of them. And I do like putting a little bit of grease on it just because it makes taking them off. I'm just gonna put these ones on for now. And I actually don't have a pedal wrench. It's probably something I should get soon. So this is the right pedal. This will go on the right side, I guess, if you're, as you're looking, but it'll thread normal, righty tighty. Just get that started. Oh, there's a sticker on it that says right too. <laughs> That's always nice. There's a sticker here that says two. I'm assuming that's class two. I think the one thing to keep in mind is, so like I would imagine over time they'll make uh, changes to this bike since this is kind of probably their first generation or so X class. And the pedal assist sensor, from my understanding, is actually right here. And I don't think, uh, I think it'll be a little bit less sensitive. If I remember correctly, this might be one that's like a little bit. Um, and the, on the plus side, it looks like the likelihood of it breaking off, like some of the rad power bikes, those discs are just kind of plastic. Um, you know, this is like right in there in line, um, with the frame there. So maybe it'll, it might not be as sensitive and maybe that's, you know, that's probably okay. Um, but maybe it'll last. So they do give you this in case you want to, uh, this probably fits all the bolts and um, everything. Oh, use it here. Let's see which one's the pedal. All Yeah, this frame's got like a little bit of sparkle to it when you're up close as well. Oh, and then um, interesting. It does so it said it does say aerial rider on this side, so that branding is is there. The battery kind, and the reason it's not on this side is because the battery kind of covers it up.
good enough for now. Yeah, those those pegs are kind of handy. All right, so let's. Not sure if the battery needs to be on or. There we go. Turned it on. Yep, it's just a black and white screen, similar uh, styling to the Ride One Up Limited. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to adjust those handlebars. Hopefully, I got this camera adjusted. I think that pretty much does it. I'm gonna go back through the bike and. Um, See what else needs to be tightened down. Oh, I have to put the fender on. That's no big deal. I saw the hole for it already. Um, ooh, the SW9. Uh, good question. Here, maybe, uh, maybe what I'll, I can show it to you. I'm not as familiar with some of these uh, displays because there are so many. So let me see. I can uh, show it to you here. Got my phone plugged in, so let's see if I can do this without. I'm gonna take the tripod with me. Alrighty. Well, here, I'll just carry my laptop with me here. Okay, there's the LCD. So yeah, well, I'm really excited to try this out today. Thanks everyone who's watching, really appreciate it. And stay tuned for upcoming videos. I'll try to post some stuff on my Instagram. I've been doing a little bit more on my Instagram channel. Um, I been I took like one GoPro video of me doing my the wall back here that I'm working on making nicer, and yeah, I'll try to post some more pictures and videos and hopefully some really cool 360 footage coming. Uh, I'm definitely gonna put my wife uh, wife on the back of this and and see how it goes and cruise around the neighborhood. And yeah, thank thanks for tuning in and. I'm really excited to check this out. Really appreciate uh, everyone's support. So we'll uh, we'll see you in an upcoming video.